failed healthcare scam, we were almost turned into dragon food, and we were forced to steal the blood of Alexander the Giant Robot. Okay, some context. A few months ago, I decided to join a roleplay travel event for a calm and relaxing five-day journey across the lands of Heavensward. Which actually turned out to be just a bit more exciting than relaxing. Anyway, our tale begins at Falcon's Nest, the Ishgardian fortress on the northern outskirts of Corthias. One of the event organizers greeted me at the stone stairs and waved me over to the rest of the group, where we all gathered in slightly awkward silence, because at this point, most players were all fairly new to each other. So, the basic premise of this whole venture was fairly straightforward. We are a group of travelers who will brave the dangerous and frozen wastes of Dervania to reach the distant and alien city of Idleshire. Each day we will cover one leg of the journey, with campsites along the way, giving us time for resting, socializing, and gathering the supplies we need for the next day. We'll be leaving soon! I'll go and prepare my carriage for departure. Oh, lovely! Then mind if I... Oh, what in Heidelin's name? Hey, um... Excuse me, sir. Yeah? I'm just wondering... Is this vehicle certified by the Ishgardian Transportation Department? What? The Ishgardian Transportation Department? Why... Um, well... Why does it not have wheels? Use the Whoa, startup no, no, clearly no. unsafe balloon technology! No reason. No reason at all. I just want to be sure that the vehicle won't break down while we're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh-huh. Right. Look, it'll be fine, okay? Don't worry. Uh, name's V, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. Same to you. And so, with a group of willing adventurers assembled, a set of eminently inadequate travel equipment collected, and approximately three hours of free time per day, because these events were taking place in the evenings of normal weekdays, and basically everyone had work or school in the mornings, we set off out into the frozen wilderness, towards our destination, and hopefully one week of decent fun. Now, like any well-made RP, each of our characters needs a reason to actually be here. After all, why else would you volunteer to freeze your tail off out in the cold? For example, one was a historian, out to collect information about the ancient dragons of Dravania, while some others were cell swords, protecting the caravan for a price. So, what was my character's motivation for going along on this five-day journey? Simple. Cash! Freaking money, mate. Here's the thing to understand about RP. Quite often, people will actually pay you for the help you provide them, even if you only did so in character, so to speak. For example, when you visit a bar of some kind, it is usually considered proper manners to pass the bartender a few gil as a tip, even if they never actually traded you anything of real value in return. So. Here was the plan. These dumb fighter adventurers are gonna run headfirst into a bunch of dragons, Asians, giant mecha gods, or whatever other huge, dangerous creatures comes along. Then several of them are going to get punched into the dirt and need medical aid. And that's where me, the oh-so-sweet little white mage, who just wants everyone to stay safe and well, will step in and with great, great effort, will do what little I can to help all the people in need for a small fee. Ooh, ooh. An absolutely flawless scheme, if I do say so myself. Is what I thought. At the time. Speaking of, it was also somewhere around here, when we were just calmly traveling along. 
that potential profits decided to pay us a visit. This is actually what I imagine that this battle was like for the combatants in the group. For me, it was something more akin to this. Like I said, not everyone in the caravan were actual fighters, so as this big battle was going on, all of us non-combatants, we were just kinda chillin'. Hey, could you guys break your spines a bit more quietly, please? You're being awfully loud. Alright, that's the last of them. Excellent work, team. Let's mount back up and move on. Oh, that's my cue! That's my cue! Hey, everyone! Bring the injured people here! We'll get them back to full health! Uh, friends? Anyone? Hello? No one asked for help. No one! They just got up on their mounts and continued! Like what the toss, guys? You were just in a fight with a giant, woolly tank! You can't just walk away from that like it was nothing! You were supposed to be mostly on the ground and partially down the road and in dire need of aid so that I could make money! <sighs> but anyway, OP plot armor aside, after that small encounter, the caravan reassembled itself, and a short while later, we reached the first waypoint, marking the end of day one. We gathered around a campfire and spent some additional time socializing, before people slowly began logging off one by one. On the following morning, we set forth northward. This leg of the journey passed by relatively uneventfully, but on day three, however, we would reach the distant lands of Dravania. These were the ancient lands of the Dragonkin, which, in my opinion, is genuinely one of the most beautiful regions in all of Heaven's Ward. And I had absolutely no time to admire any of it. Here was the thing. In addition to the actual journey itself, the DMs were also organizing smaller one-shot RP events that were loosely connected to the main story that we were building. I had signed up for one such event this evening, and I was in the completely wrong place for it. I was supposed to have jumped off the caravan at a small crossroads further back and joined the others at the designated meeting spot, and I had totally missed that. Oh dear, oh no, oh dear, oh this is not good. This is really not ideal. Excuse me. Are you the white mage who is also going to explore the Annex Tower? Oh, uh, hi, D Dion Dionysia. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Did you also forget that we were supposed to deviate from the caravan? Yeah, unfortunately. I figured we could both head on over there at the same time. Oh, uh, sure. Good idea. How do we get over there as quickly as possible? I mean, if you have the attunement, we can just teleport over there. Wouldn't that be breaking the rules of the RP? Sorta, but the others are already waiting for us, so we can just hand wave it. <laughs> Okay, we're here, we're here. Sorry that we're late. Ah, more 
our travelers. Welcome. Welcome. You're the one who asked us to come out here? Yes. My name is Arini, and I am in need of your assistance. I have been tasked to do a special delivery, and I would be most grateful if you would be willing to join me. What's the delivery? Uh, that is a secret. Suffice to say that my clients are not willing to travel too far to satiate their curiosity or appetite. Who are the clients? They are my clients. I assure you, it is perfectly safe. The denizens of this place are quite friendly, and they will be very happy to meet you. So roundabout here, the correct decision would have been to start running off in the other direction. But since we are totally oblivious adventurers, with absolutely zero instinct for self-preservation, we just went along with it. We just started walking right up to this massive dragon-controlled stronghold like it was nobody's business. Just how did they even construct this bastion? Dragons don't have arms or hands to build things with. Oh, you should ask our hosts about that. It is a tale which is best appreciated from the jaws of the dragons themselves. Yeah, she definitely intends to feed us to the dragons. Like, we are the special delivery, aren't we? Probably. And we deserve the Darwin Award for going along with it. And so we continued on. Not a care in the world. Also, this is just a totally exaggerated story, by the way. The DM was actually a really nice person, and this was a lovely event she had put together, just to be clear. Alright, so we're here now, I guess. Now what? <laughs> yes, indeed. It is most wonderful that you were willing to come. In fact, it is such a joyous occasion. Why don't you come and join us? Yeah, true. And in fact, we should have seen this coming even more than I realized at the time. Because if I had actually properly paid attention to the RP hook, I would have noticed that it said, and I quote, Incoring the wrath of the locals is a one-way trip to their stomach. Please contact your insurance company to reimburse your family in case you get eaten. But that fact just makes what happened next all the more bizarre. Alright. So, how do we deal with this dragon? Do we have a bard on hand? What? What do you mean, deal with this dragon? Like, how do we deal with the dragon? The one that's about to eat us? Oh, but like I've told you this whole time, he's perfectly friendly. Again, we're just so very happy that you all decided to come and visit us. Uh, I don't believe you? Oh, but he is. Here. Just look! Oh, you are just such a beautiful little boy, aren't you? Can you believe that some people would actually find you dangerous? Some people! Here. So, yeah. After all of that build-up, we did not end up fighting or get eaten by the dragons. We just kinda ended up chilling. I still don't really know how I feel about that turn of events. Regardless, we stayed for a while longer to chat about lore stuff, did some exploration of the ruins, but somewhere around here we were forced to wrap it up. It was getting a bit late and people started dropping off one by one, so we decided it was about time to call it an evening. 
So, I guess we will just head back to the caravan now. No one gets injured tonight, even in this giant, scary, dragon-infested fortress. Disappointed? Disappointed that everyone is alright? No. Disappointed that I'm still poor after this evening? Yes. Yes, very much so. And so, we had reached the halfway point of our journey. With two days left, there were still plenty of adventures left ahead of us, and plenty of opportunities for my dumb sprout self to trip over and fall flat on my face. So until then, YouTube like button for the algorithm, and see you later.